Assalamu alaikum and good morning to all of my students again. And we are all in front of each other uh, in the next lesson. And I hope you're enjoying your lessons today. You're enjoying the day, a lovely weather, sunny, beautiful day with cool breeze. So we are in a social service class today and we are uh, learning about something, something which is very important in our life. Yes, um, because you think there are many things which are very important in our life and we need them to make our life comfortable. So what do you think uh, if you want to go somewhere because the weather is good, it's a sunny day and you want to go outside, how are you going to go out? How are you going to go out? Okay, if it's a park and that is near to your home, how are you going to go? you can go by walk yes you can go by walk if it's near and it's good to go by walk because walking is very good exciting and you should walk daily yes and what if the park is a little far from your house so how would you prefer to go on yes okay maybe yeah you can take a cycle a bicycle most of the kids have bicycles at home right you take a bicycle Okay, that's great. And what if you have to go for shopping or you have to go to school? Then how do you go that? How do you go to school? How do you go to your friends or maybe a party or maybe picnic or shopping? How do you go? Okay, most of you go by car. Okay, that's great. So <clears throat> this is what we are going to learn today about. And that is the mode of the things, the things which we use to travel, maybe or to bring one thing to another place that is called transport. The means which we use to travel, or maybe if we use to um, uh, transfer the goods, items the things from one place to another place that is called that mode is called transportation we use transport to travel around to transfer goods to transfer things and that is called transport right so uh, we are going to discuss today about land transport right so most common is the land transport which people use around so we are going to discuss all about the land uh, transport it is very common in our lives almost everybody uses any kind of transport daily almost in their lives to travel around to go to work and to um feel good even somebody wants to go for a picnic and all so we are mostly using the transport we cannot go by walk anywhere or maybe on a cycle we cannot go very far on a cycle or we cannot all the time walk right so you need to have transport to travel around to make our life comfortable and this is what we want to <clears throat> so um, there are, as i told you that there are many means of transport so, but today we are going to only discuss about the land transport, right? We're going to discuss about the land transport today, right? So I'm going to tell you a little about that. The most common thing in land transport is that they all have wheels, right? All the transport which we travel through the land, they all have wheels so they have to travel so some of them maybe they have like different kind of uh, to travel to roll because when the wheel rolls the car goes and like everything goes around right so the most common thing is that they all have wheels so um that is the common thing which you can when you will observe the things you will be able to see that 
Yes, and they all have like different kind of uh, things. So we will discuss about the land transport and some of them, which maybe you don't use uh, very frequently, or maybe you have used it once or twice, but we will take the name of those as well. So first of all, I'm going to show you like the very common thing, which almost everyone has at home. And that is a scooter. This can be even scooty, this can be a bike, this can be scooter. So this two wheeler is very common um, in like everybody's home, the scooter. See, this has got wheels, right? And we can travel it to go to even shopping, even if you wanna go to school, if you wanna go to park, it's, if it's far away. So people use scooter, right? So this is, the mean of transport scooter, which is very, very common and people use it. Most of the people use it because it's economical, price-wise, fuel-wise, it is very economical. So people use scooters, bikes, motorcycles, right? So scooter is the mode of transport, right? So, then another thing which we use mostly uh, and we have that in our house is a car, right? This is a four wheeler. It has got four wheels, but yes, this even goes on wheels. So car is a very common land transport, right? Which we use and we all have different models of cars, which we use, whatever you like, whatever color you like. So we all have cars and we all use cars as the, yes, we could, we use it, okay? So there is a car. Then uh, you must have seen something very important on the roads and that is the ambulance. This is also a land transport. This helps the patients to take from one hospital to the other hospital, or maybe from home to the clinic, to the hospital. And if, uh, God forbid, if there is an accident from the road to the hospital, this commute from uh, different places to the hospital. <clears throat> so ambulance is also a land transport, right? So this is also a land transport. Okay, so, so see the common thing which you can notice is the wheels because on the road, you have to go on wheels, on the wheels, you can go anywhere. So uh, these things, mostly they have uh, wheels around. Then if you are, um, on the road and you see another siren and there is a truck going with red color and the pipes, water pipes, that is a fire engine. This is also, this comes in land transport, right? With wheels. So if there is an emergency, and a fire emergency, the fire truck goes over there. So this is also uh, the mode of transport which we use for emergency. We use ambulances for emergency and we use uh, fire trucks for emergencies, okay? And these are also very, very important in our daily life. Then we've got buses. We have like different kind of buses. Uh, there are school bus and there are the buses which uh, people commute from one city to another city. People use this bus uh, to communicate, commute. Within the city, people use bus to travel. If they ha have to go for shopping, even they can travel. If they have to go to school and colleges, they can uh, travel by bus. So bus is also a very important mode of communication within the cities. Um, and like inside the city, if you have to travel. So bus is a very, very important mode of transport, which you use. And again, you can see bus has also wheels. So these all have wheels around. And these are the mode of transport, which we use mostly, right? Then what do we have? Like if you go to um, the village, we can even see like there are carts, 
There are donkey carts, that is also a land transport. There are camel carts, they are also the <coughs> uh, mode of land transport. And then there are tractors. Have you seen tractors? What do they do? Now farmers plow the land with that, they put the seeds with that, and they dig the ground and they use it for farming. So tractors are used for farming, which um, farmers used it in the fields and uh, they help them to grow their uh, crops and all, right? So tractor is also a land transport. This is also, it has also four wheels. So most of them has four wheels, except the scooter or the bike or the bicycle. These all have uh, two tires. Rest of them have different, different tires. Then there is another mode of transport. Um, I had the engine in there. Like you, have, you must have seen train. They're like um, compartments. The engine is the main part which pulls the train and the train even we travel on the track, railway track, right? And the train stops at the railway station. And from one railway station to the other railway station, train takes us over there. We can carry goods around. There are special trains for the goods, maybe coal or oil or animals, or even like uh, trucks and cars. So through train, we can take all these goods from one place to another place, right? So train is also a very good land transport. And it has got also wheels, but they are, they are not tires, they are wheels. Then if you have seen a construction site, you can see many different kinds of uh, transportation over there. So one of them is an excavator, which digs the ground and makes the hole there. If somebody's making the basement or somebody's making the very strong base, if it's a high rise building. So you have to excavate the ground first to pull out the, uh, uh, the um, mud from that. You have to take that out and you have to make a hole to dig a hole and then you make a base in it. So I just want to show you um, there is some there is a picture. Uh, I think, uh, okay, I, I'm just going to show you a picture over here of uh, transport. Just uh, hold on, I will just show you the picture. There are like many pictures. Transport. Okay. Have a look at this picture. And this is going to give us the pictures of land transport, which I'm going to show you. This is taking a little time, but no problem. This will come to see. Oh, yay. So see, there are like different types of land transport, which I have shown you over here. So, and now look at this blue vehicle. This is a Jeep, right? So this is also four wheeler and uh, a very powerful vehicle. You can go on mountains in the Jeep. You can travel in deserts in the Jeep. You can travel a lot of the, uh, uh, places which a car or a scooter uh, cannot go normally. So you can drive the Jeep in deserts, on the stones, on the mountains, you can go on the Jeep, right? Then train from one city to another city, even from one country to another country. There are like um, train services between the countries as well and between the cities as well. Very important mode of transport, very lovely, very, um, when you travel through train, it's very enjoyable. You really enjoy your journey. And you can see different cities through the railway stations. You can get to know different names of cities, all the different cities, which you maybe do not know, 
right? Now look at this beautiful yellow scooter. As I have seen, uh, as I've shown you, like I have this blue scooter. This is a beautiful yellow scooter. So you can travel through the scooter and the bikes as well. Then there is a bus you can see. So this is a passenger bus you know, that travels within the cities. So that is even very good. People go uh, to school, kids go to school on bus and people travel within the city through bus and cycle. Cycle is a very good vehicle. It has two wheels and is very good for exercise. This is very, very, very um, lightweight and very nice vehicle because this does not need any fuel and you can just um, use it whenever you like. And it, it's very good exercise. So there are two cars over here. If you can see, there are two different kinds of cars. On this picture, this one is the small car, which you can see over here, see? A small car over here. Yay. This may be a foxy, looks like a foxy. This is an old car, very beautiful, very comfortable car. Again, you can see the wheels around. And then there is another car. I will just, yay. See, this is another car over here, <coughs> limousine, people call it. This is a long car. So there are many different types of cars, many different types of buses, many different types of trucks and scooters and bikes, which you can see on the roads and they're all beautiful. And everybody uses it to commute from one place to another place. And these are all very, very common. Uh, things which we use. This is my very favorite. This is so cute, the little scooter. I really like it, the color and all. So this is also very comfortable. But the best thing is the bicycle because you don't need any fuel for that. You just need to check the tires if they're okay and the brakes are okay and the pedals are okay. You are just going to ride the bike around your vicinity, like in your society and all where you live. And it's a very, very good exercise. So these are the mode of transportation which we use for land, right? If you're traveling through land, these are the things mostly commonly which we are using to travel, right? We used to travel. So this is eight and uh, this is our transport. Oh my God, yeah, all the transporters got jumbled. There's a traffic jam over here. <laughs> Okay, no problem. So this was our social studies class today and we have learned about transport and specifically land transport. So we learn a little more about transport in the next social studies class, right? So till then, I'm going to say goodbye. You stay safe, be happy, be grateful, and I'll see you soon. Till then, bye-bye. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, subscribe our video and give it a thumbs up, okay? Bye-bye, see you soon.